The second of the five primal essential movements is the pull-up. Now, if you're a man and you can already do 12, or if you're a woman and you can already do four or five, then you can just move straight to the next exercise. But for those of you who are looking for the progression to be able to do a pull-up, maybe you've never done a pull-up before, this is the best way to start. And we have the progress in Primal Blueprint Fitness. Number one, find a pull-up bar. We've got a portable set here that we brought with us to this playground. Um, and in this case, we found a bench. Now, you can use a chair, uh, a bench at home. You can pull a chair up if you have a door-mounted pull-up bar. You can do that. If you're at the gym, you can use a bench at the gym. The first progression is simply doing double leg assisted pull-ups and it looks like this. Put your arms a little bit more than shoulder width apart with an overhand grip. Step up onto the chair or bench. Keep your legs bent and simply pull up with your chin above the bar using your legs as little as you can to get through to be able to do 10 or 12. So it looks like this. I'm using my legs as little as possible. I'm putting my chin above the bar. I'm pulling up as much as I can. I'm trying to burden my shoulders and arms and back. I want to engage my back muscles before I even start to lift. I'm engaging my back muscles, pulling up. And then when I've done 12 of those, when I'm able to finish 12 of those, I can move on to the next progression. Now the next progression is single leg assisted pull-ups. And in this case, I'm going to move my portable set about 14 to 18 inches away from the bench. Or if my pull-up bar is stationary, I'll move my bench away or my chair away. Again, take my grip, an overhand grip, slightly wider than shoulder width, and just use one leg. I'll let the other leg hang. And again, using as much of my upper back as possible and not my legs, try to continue to progress through 12 or 15 of these. And so on. The next progression is reverse pull-ups. And again, we're going to find a way to uh, maybe, maybe move the bench a little bit nearer, but not so far that it interferes with our legs, because what we're going to do is we're going to go up we're going to hang, start for this position, and then gradually on a five count, lower ourselves down. But I'm not going to do it with my feet assisting anymore. So I'm either going to jump up and then lower myself on a five count, or I'm going to walk myself up, either way, if I've got the book, and then hold it and lower myself on a five count until I can do whatever's called for, male or female to get to the next level, and so on. Now you can also do these with a reverse grip. This is called a chin-up when it's a reverse grip. A little bit narrower grip, but again, I start here, and then I lower. I start here, and then I lower. Finally, the last progression is just your basic pull-up. So I'm not going to touch the ground. My legs are not assisting me. I'm going to pull up, engaging my back again, and so on, and so on. And that's the progression for pull-ups.